Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a new topic on puberty in boys. So let me give you more details about what changes can happen in boys during puberty. So coming to physical changes, this is commonly seen during puberty and during puberty uh, the age can vary depending upon the hormone game. So if the hormone production is higher at the lower ages, you can have pubertal changes at a lower age. Whereas if it is at the later stages, you can have pubertal changes even during 16, 17, 18 years of age. So coming to early signs and symptoms, you can have deepening of voice because of the increased size of the larynx. You can have a broader uh, broadening of your shoulders, your hips can grow narrower. Apart from that, you can have uh, hair growth in various parts of the body like face, chest, pubic areas. Your testicles and the penis will start growing. You can experience something called as wet dreams where uh, because of the hormone production and because of sperm production along with semen, the uh, penis will ejaculate okay so there will be ejaculation that is happening during the nights and that is called as the nocturnal emissions which is also because of the sleep orgasms so this is a common phenomenon that can happen so that can lead to your uh, pajamas getting wet so you need to maintain hygienic condition during this particular stages apart from that due to uh, increased uh, uh, sweat production your oil uh, your face can get oilier and that can in turn lead to bacterial infections which can lead to acne so these are a few things which can happen. Apart from that, you can see uh, growth spurts because of hormonal uh, changes and you can have bone elongation which can lead to again a lot of changes in you. So uh, voice changes, face and chest, uh, uh, hair growth happens in those areas even in the pubic uh, uh, regions you can have uh, hair growth and these are the specific changes in males and these are the common changes which are seen both in males and females. So come uh, like stretch marks, body odor, skin changes. So these are common in males and females. So reproductive organ as we uh, all know it is the penis and the testicles. So here you can just, I am just putting this image to just make you aware about the changes that can happen. So you can see the growth uh, uh, development which is happening here. Apart from that the hair growth which is uh, more predominant at the later stages compared to the earlier stages. So coming to the stages of puberty, as we move from stage 1 to stage 1, the development becomes more. Okay, So in stage 1, the hormone that is basically testosterone. So this is the main hormone which is leading to pubertal changes in boys. Okay, Apart from that, as I told you, the testicles and the scrotum will grow. Uh, sperm production may start to begin and pubic hair may start to begin. Because this is the initial stage, stage 1, where your body is starting to prepare for these stages. So in stage 2, it becomes more uh, predominant, your growth spurts, your body shape changes, your muscle will grow and your nipples may become tender. Okay, In stage 3, your penis may get longer, your voice may start breaking because your larynx will start growing here. And you can see there is a produ uh, protruding structure which can happen and that is called as the Adam's apple. So you can see ejaculation which I told you and you can see wet dreams because of orgasms which can happen during the night. So this is just to show you how uh, ejaculation can happen. Erection, this is erection and after which there will be ejaculation. This is because of the increased blood supply in that particular region and that can lead to uh, the sperm uh, ejaculation. So coming to uh, other things like pimples can happen because of uh, increased uh, sweat production. Facial hair starts growing which is noticeable and finally they start growing. So that is the stage 5. So similar to uh, girls, even these uh, boys will go through a lot of emotional changes. They start uh, getting more moodier, they become focused like how they look, they may discuss all this with their friends than family. So these all emotional changes can happen even in boys and that is normal. Apart from that, they may focus in friends as I told you and they may have, they may start avoiding family because uh, they are trying to understand what changes is happening. So. It can become difficult for them to discuss this with their parents if parents are not very friendly. So it's better to be friendly with your kids and speak normally, discuss about these topics so that they feel that they can share these things even with you. So that can give a lot of moral support to them. So that is very important because they are going through a lot of changes. The voice gets deeper, their voice might completely change because of that and that may have a negative impact on them. So it, it's better to have a good moral support during the changes that they are going through. So coming to the mechanism, let me give you more details about why this all happens, why the hormonal changes happens. So basically the main uh, thing here is the hypothalamus. So hypothalamus is producing something called as gonadotropin stimulating hormone or releasing hormone. 
Okay, so that in turn what it does is it triggers your pituitary gland. So we know we have the pituitary gland. So in the pituitary gland, the anterior pituitary. Okay, so this is the part which is releasing most of the hormones. So you have the luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone. So the hormones are the same, but they are doing different changes in different individuals. Like in males, the changes are different. In females, the changes are slightly different. Why? Because this hormone is acting on testis in case of males. Whereas it's acting on ovaries in case of females. So since it is acting on testis, it finally produces something called as testosterone. Okay, so this is what it is producing, and this in turn leads to the changes what is happening in males. So it is the spermatogenesis which can happen. That is one part of it, and it also helps in the other uh, changes which we saw because of the testosterone production. So what happens is during puberty. Usually, this concentration becomes higher and higher because of which these changes are commonly seen. Okay, so that is same thing which is shown here. You have the hypothalamus, the pituitary, and the lytic cells of the testis. So they are doing the major part of the work, which is releasing testosterone, which can lead to all these changes in males. But what happens usually before puberty, when testosterone is slightly released? There is something called as negative feedback, which is happening. Okay, when a negative feedback happens, it negatively impacts these uh, uh, organs so that it does not produce more testosterone so that is happening be before puberty so because of which the testosterone concentration will not increase and if it is not increasing it will not lead to all these changes but during puberty what happens is even though there is a slight lesser concentration of testosterone it cannot do this negative uh, feedback so once the negative feedback is not done the hypothalamus and the pituitary will not be aware that it should not produce more testosterone so continuously it will be producing testosterone and it is as it is producing it continuously the concentration becomes higher and higher and that leads to all these changes so that is why we have seen that testosterone plays a major role in the pubertal changes in males and that is the reason for the mechanism So coming to take away messages we have seen how a lot of physical changes and emotional changes can happen even in males and that can be really challenging for the um, uh, kids there so we should remember that uh, we need to discuss about uh, these concepts uh, with our uh, uh, kids and so that they feel that it is not something different and only they are going through all this it should not be like that every single boy will go through all these changes and it is very normal so coming to one more reason is obesity so if you are having a lot of body fats leptins are produced which is a hormone which can even lead to early pubertal changes even in males so in this way uh, try to eat healthy so that you do not end up in obesity and early pubertal changes in males also can lead to a lot of mental health issues which can lead to substance abuse and various other risk taking uh, uh, behavior in teenagers which is a matter of concern so that is why it's better to uh, stay away from all the lot of junk food so that you stay away from obesity and that's how we can uh, see to it that we are staying healthy so thank you for watching so if you feel that this worth is uh, this uh, video that i have made for you is worth liking please do like my video please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with young boys and girls so that they get more information on what pubertal changes can happen in them and that can give a lot of moral support to them thank you for your support till date have a nice day